What is up, friends? We're gonna do a poor man's mining video today. Should be a quick one. Hang in there. All right, I'm out here at Crew L1, so Crusader Lagrange 1, and I'm just gonna pull up into my rented prospector. We've made, made no changes. I'm not grabbing any special doodads. Watch my bobbits. I'm not putting on a lancet, so I can do quant. We're just going to stick to our Crusader system and let you play a different gameplay loop and have some fun with it. So, a couple of things. This is going to be a side review and some, like, sexy B-roll of the Prospector video. So, let's go into that beauty cam. Okay, I love the fillable little um, vats on the side. So it does have 32 cargo space, but that's only for mined rock. You can't actually carry cargo in this bad boy. VTOL mode on this is pretty rad and it does make a difference. You can see all four of the engines rotate. You have two front engines, two larger rear engines. And then you do have two badgers that are right here under, right next to your mining apparatus. You can see this ship has one of the best flying experiences you can see down underneath you can see on both of the sides you can see all over top of you there's a small window but you can see up pretty high you have those awesome misc mfds that are actually kind of invisible that you can see through i want a fighter that's like this it's like a bubble fighter the thing the feature that no one ever uses let's retract that landing gear now you can planet mine with this bad boy, um, but flying in Atmos sucks, so we're gonna do something totally different. Um, target locations are usually pretty good because nobody else is really going to those unless they're hunting those bounties and you've already claimed it, so. Usually pretty good, so we'll fly to this one. I love that it gives you all the readouts on everything this patch. Mining is really much improved. All right, this one's easy. Agrisium and aluminum is pretty poop, but we're just gonna show you how this works. Mining in space can be really nice. Or make sure you have no dead zones on your... So we're gonna try to keep this one at around, it looks like 20, jeez. Even a little less than that. All right, then you split the rock. Sometimes you have to cut it into even smaller chunks, but this one's pretty small. And then you can just scoop it up after you all you rotate modes. And you'll just extract it like so. Now you can get spontaneum if you go out uh, into the Aaron belt, Aaron's halo. Personally, that's not happening for me. Because when you rent one, you don't have the Lancet laser, and you'll have uh, one terrible time trying to mine it. Love that mining head just working it right there. I love watching it like rotate between the extraction and the. See if we can go find a different asteroid that's maybe a little tougher to crack or has some other issues with it. Usually this will tell you what it is, but it looks like it's glitching out right now. And if you can't get the read on it, it's usually not worth trying to do. There we go. Now it gets it. Sometimes if you just tap it on, it'll, it'll get it. To hear how, like, it'll tell you when you're too close on the left-hand side. That's Follow your heart on that one. You can see this one is incredibly unstable. I'm at 10% laser intensity. I probably need to back off. It's very likely to explode. And we lot and our shields take a little bit of damage there. And you can see our cargo on the right hand side. Really like what they've done with this one. And that's just to get you up to one SCU. So we we really haven't taken much here. We're not really finding large rocks. 6,000 mass is going to be tough, but it might be doable. Oh, it says easy. Okay. Well, this one will be much bigger, so we can... Yeah, you can see we got a little bit hit there. That's okay. Boom. 
Boom. Bang, bada, boom. Okay. When they're highlighted in purple, that means you can soak them up. When they're highlighted in yellow, it means you gotta crack them again. So. Now, if you're on qu doing Quantanum, you have like 15 minutes total after you pick up your first rock to bring it back in. Where is it? So you do have to be a little snappier on it. For me, that's what makes mining Quantanium fun. Love watching this ship touch down though. All right, you're gonna come down to the refinery. You're gonna walk up the stairs this time instead of where you went to rent the car, up to the top. And you can do two things. You can do refinement process, where you're gonna refine the metal, or my recommended for your first few times is just go to ore sales. Come over here, select your prospector. And then you're just gonna select everything that you have and sell it. Almost made back the money we took from renting it. So had I gone out a couple more times, it would have been worth it. It looks like the Hephaestonite was worth way more money. I should have been a little bit more picky. Though the Agrician wasn't bad either. It was just this 50% of my cargo hold being aluminum that really burned me. So I should have checked the values on the minerals. Once you do that, it's a little bit easier. But this works out fine. Made 17 grand almost pretty worth it now if i refined them i could make about it's you refining doubles the value but you have to pay to refine it you have to load it into a ship you have to fly it somewhere else you have to land that ship without getting interdicted shot down game crashing etc and then run over to a, a t and d tra uh, terminal trade and delivery or like trade terminal whatever and then sell the stuff on that terminal and that's fine but it's not not for me so much so anyway i hope all of you enjoyed this poor man's guide to prospector mining in 319 let me know what you think in the comments down below until next time good luck out there have some fun keep on gaming bye for now